out to the box, boy. What's up, Basement family? Cheers, and welcome to another True or False with All G's React. My name is Bruce Lively, representing Team Box Cutter, and representing the All G's React channel, we have Josh Suggs on the phone with us. Say what's up, brother. What is up, guys? Yeah, so listen, the way this works is one of us picks a true or false statement grounded in hip hop, you know what it is, then we pick a side, debate it, and I win. It's pretty much how it works. <laughs> but today, though, it's more of a discussion. Over the weekend, as all of us know, there was mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, actually some in Chicago as well, but we're just going to focus on these two. Um, of course, this takes precedent to whatever witty question and funny back and forth we had for you today. Instead, we're going to give this topic the seriousness it deserves. But don't worry, because when you hear what I have to say about all this, well, let's just say my apparent role on this show as the bad guy for some reason will be well preserved. You don't want to miss this, people. With that being said, Lego. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back with another true or false discussion series, I guess we can call this. Yeah, yeah, we'll like name it a discussion. Yeah. Um, uh, the first of two, I think we're going to have a discussion next week, too. But we, before we get to that, I just wanted to say, I wanted to say uh, this hit home. This hit home, not just because of everybody, you know is worried about their family. Everybody's worried about the kids going to school. They have, instead of tornado drills, they have to duck under the desk. Um, the mass shooting thing is ridiculous. There's been over, there's more mass shootings in 2019 than there are days. That means there's multiple per day. And last weekend, right, right. Uh, that And last weekend was just another proof of that. To the victims. <laughs> I understand, I don't understand what it feels like to lose someone in a mass shooting, but I don't know if anybody knows this, my kids and my wife were at Walmart where I live and there was an active shooter in the building. When I tell you I got the call from my scared daughter breathing and huffing on the phone, dad, dad, is an active shooter, uh, it's hard to even talk about it, bro. <clears throat> There's an active shooter in the building, in Walmart. I've never ran so fast. I never drove so fast. I blacked out. Uh, I found myself there. I pulled up on the curb. Before I even took my keys out the car, got out and ran. Ran into the building not even thinking about what could have been or not even it wasn't smart actually to do i'm not trying to say oh i'm so brave i'm just saying the mindset of when things are just jumbled in your head and you and you anxiety and and fear yeah. and and all of that put together is a is a dangerous cocktail and and i know what that feels like my wife knows what that feels like when she had you know those kids there and told one to run save yourself i've got to go find the other one uh so she made one of them run out the door and she went to go find the other child 
I mean, when we saw this, it hit home in a way. I um, I had you know kind of put that to the back of my mind because that's kind of what men do. We we suppress our feelings, but my wife saw this and. I was like, man, I, I know it's sad, but I've never seen her cry at the news. And she reminded me, no, it's bringing me back to that point. And I was like, yeah, I know. I thought about it. I just pushed it away. So I just want to be in some camaraderie. I want to give my condolences. I want to be in one accord with the victims and the families that I know what that feeling is. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. What do you got to say, bro? Man, um... That's crazy because I was also involved in the active shooter incident. Wow. 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 And, and I mean, it's one of those situations where there's a lot of confusion. We really don't know what's going on. You know, the, the information isn't solid while it's going on. So you're just trying to, you know, move with the crowd sometimes, you know, but also try to keep a lookout. So like you said, man, you your mind really starts, you know, racing and, and, and trying to figure out, okay. Chaos is the word really I happening. was thinking the of. Chaos is just, yeah. yeah, chaos is just there. So, I mean, it happened. Guy went to the job looking to kill another guy and girl over a relationship dispute. And that's just, you know, thankfully nobody was actually hurt in that one. But. Same thing in Walmart, except one guy actually died. Uh... So it was about a girl, a guy and a girl. Again, yeah. another relationship. So, yeah, so it's uh it's one of those crazy things where you if you've been through something like it, it it doesn't make it for some people it doesn't make it as easy to understand why it still happens. But we're all human and at times some of us let our emotions take control and like you said, you ran into that building not knowing what was going on. And when you look back on it, you say, well, that was dumb. But I guarantee you those guys in prison are like, I can't believe I let my emotions get control of me to go bring a gun to go kill somebody over somebody else, you know, in that situation, in those situations. Yep. So I really do feel for uh, for, for the, the victims' families, man, because... A lot of times when we hear about death and we hear about people dying, being killed and things like that, we really don't ever stop and think about how those deaths affect the family, not just in a sadden, we lost somebody, but we don't know if that person was the breadwinner of the family. We don't know what all those things that person had going on to, that actually could just send that family in a downward spiral to hurt them and I've known I've seen it happen with with friends and families removing dads and things like that and it just like in fact on a personal note when my grandmother passed one of my aunts took the hardest and it still affects her to this day and we're going almost two years out of that so and it's those connections and those type of things that we don't truly think about because I think we're becoming way accustomed to death and way too accustomed to these type of actions happening. Like you said, there was more shootings this year. Mass like, shootings, not just shootings. Away. Mass, mass shootings, shootings which yes, means, mass shootings. Which means I think away. three or four or more died in one with by one person. Right. No, that blew me away. I'm not going to lie. That blew me away yeah. because I had never... I knew it was high, but I didn't know it was that high. So, yeah. So, you guys, keep your thoughts, keep your positive energy, man, to the victims. It's all Thank about the victims. victims. All right? So, yep. that's all I got on that. Man. Okay, so if you don't mind... We're gonna do this a little bit different, people. It's not a 15-minute show. It's not a one one hit a quitter. We got a lot to talk about. But if you don't mind, if you don't mind, Mr. Suggs, if you don't mind, I want to take over. I got something to say. It might be controversial, but I got something to say, and I think that right I think it needs to be said. And I think um, for those who need to listen, you may learn something. There's a video that I'm going to show you, and I want to show you how ridiculous, how ridiculous people can be 
when forced by religion or hate and other factors. And I'm talking about Latinos. I'm not going after the victims. I'm trying to show you how to save yourself. Watch this, please. So let me, let me say this. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. And is this a setup? Did I ever meet you before? Huh? I'm Hispanic and I vote for Mr. Trump. We vote for Mr. Trump. Yes, Mr. Trump. We love you. We love you. Yes. Yes. The numbers say, as of 2016, 30% of the Hispanics who voted, voted Republican. That's for those those people who say the things that was written in the manifesto by the killer the things that he believes in he repeated all of them from trump's words from his pulpit as he was talking all of the in every single state and city that trump does a rally hate crimes go up in that city afterwards by 230 percent Every time. If you're a Mexican, if you're Latino, you're Puerto Rican, Cuban, if you're brown, and you vote for these people because you think abortion and gays is worth hating and is worth killing yourself for, you should have something to think about. 30% is too high. It's too high. Hi. They hate you. Listen. Listen. Listen people. We bring death to ourselves because we've been conditioned to hate. In that city alone in El Paso is just about just about the national average 30% of the almost all all Mexican descendants place there, El Paso, Texas, voted for Trump and voted for the Republican governor that just loosened all the gun laws a few months ago. You voted for your own death because you hate gays. Because you, uh, there's the only two things. There are the only two things that matter to you. If you're in that category, I know most of you are not. If you're in that category, understand Understand that they have fooled you into believing that you can hate someone enough that you can vote against yourself and feel good about it and sleep at night. If that's what being a Christian is, I wonder why most of the country is becoming atheist by the day, by the hour. There's another problem. I'm not going to go any more into that. If you vote Republican and you're Hispanic because you think that that's what Christ wants you to do, at the next shooting, when I hear on the news you say, I don't feel like an American anymore, I feel hated, I'm going to ask you, who did you vote for? Because you probably hate yourself. They taught you to, and it's not your fault. Now you have a time to change. Listen to your boy. There's another problem. I come from an immigrant family, from Jamaica. I have an auntie, I won't even say her name. She loves Trump. She loves Trump. And every time we discuss it, I say, why as an immigrant do you think this? Well, I, I have my green card, I have this and that. She forgot that for 10 years, she lived here illegally before she found that job with the white family taking care of their kids. She forgot that she was here illegally and needed a chance, not a wall. Most of the Mexicans, most of the Puerto Ricans, most of the Dominicans, most of the immigrants, Latino, especially who I'm talking about, say the same thing. Well, I'm here legally now, or came legally, and I don't want those other ones. You wouldn't believe it, people. You have to be from an immigrant family to understand that. Ask any immigrant that's under 20, under 30, Ask them what their parents think. The wall, in my opinion, is for control. 
In my opinion, like he said, the immigration must be controlled. He never said that all the people in Mexico is bad. But the people which is coming mm -hmm. illegally from Mexico, the 80 percent is they have a little bit problems. They are crabs in a barrel. I got it, but I don't want everybody else to have it. I don't want them coming over here illegally. If you don't believe me, go back to the video that you just saw of the lady screaming, I love Trump! I love Trump! Ah! While he touches her butt and she lets it happen because she has dehumanized herself and her own people in such a way that she hates them. We kill ourselves because we hate ourselves and we have been conditioned to do so. I said it. I did, because it needs to be said. We kill ourselves. We die because of lack of information. Lack of, lack of education. One more thing, let me just give you, in case you think I'm wrong, in case you think I'm wrong, this is, I believe, from USA Today, when they interviewed one of these guys. Uh, I believe he's of Mexican descent. His name is Joseph Ordorno, said, so I ended up voting for Donald Trump because I thought he was closer to the values that I have, said 23-year-old Donald Trump, I mean, Joseph Ordorno, with a sigh. And then he said, I mean, he's obviously not perfect. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He knows that he hates you, but they've convinced you to hate other people so much under the disguise of a religion that you voted for your own death talk. Donald Trump did not pull the trigger, fine, but we know what he's been saying and written in the manifesto is word for word all of his words. Why has white supremacy risen since he's become in office? You voted for it. Why is their hate crimes gone up 230% every time he leaves a rally and hypes them up and riles them up? You voted for it. It's time to stop. Black people, we have the same problems, but it's not about us right now. I'm just telling you, we've got, it's time to stop. As an immigrant, I can tell you this. Family to family. And I'm done with that rant. We cool? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get it out, man. Get Sorry it out. about that, y'all. That's it. I know it took a long time, but I said it. Y'all think about it. Now, let's get back to the, to the story at hand. Let's talk about it, man. I've seen all over the news. Of course, it's Fox News because they don't want to talk about the obvious problems. Video games. Video oh games are the problem. <laughs> Bro, that is a, that's an hour conversation by itself. We don't even need to talk about it. We need to, we need to talk about something. That, that's, I, man, look, if you go back through history, let me just say this real fast. If you go back through history, when there is an underlying issue that is really being caused by the majority they normally always try to deflect to something else to make it seem like that is the issue. I don't know how many times growing up this has been on the news about video games causing violence. I can go back as early as when I remember the first time hearing it was during the release of Mortal Kombat back in 91 or 92. Yep. That yeah. far. Uh -huh. They've been, they've been trying to pin violence or the increase of violence on other entities other than the fact that it's it's in what you do. Right. You think you came here and took the land without using oh. violence? You false. Use violence. So okay. you're saying... Uh, it's in what Make you it do. clear now. You're saying there's a culture of that built into the fabric and the soil of this nation. <laughs> uh, there you go. 
I've been saying it for the longest. I've been saying it. You can't. You're not going to build a house with thievery, lying, uh, breaking of treaties, racism, mm. and expect for these these issues not to rise up. Your house is going to have termite holes in it. It's going to have issues. You're always constantly going to be trying to patch them because you didn't do it in a manner in which everyone could have been succeeded or happy with the way that they've gone. Come on to the box, boy.